The Harukunu haters finally win. There's no more Harukunu of the counter. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel because we're here every week, every single week, talking about skincare. Y'all, I can't believe I've abandoned you guys for so long. My sincerest apologies. If you guys follow me everywhere else, you know I've been on TikTok heavy, but I'm back now. Your girl's back. You're gonna be seeing me a lot more. She's back. She's She's never going back. Did I do something there? <laughs> anyway, you guys, this is a long overdue video and y'all, this video is actually inspired by Phoenix K. She left a comment that basically was informing me about the reformulation of MB. The only hydroquinone over-the-counter that we had has been reformulated. It's no longer available over-the-counter. No more hydroquinone over-the-counter. You have to go through your dermatologist to get hydroquinone. I don't know. I feel some type of way about it because hydroquinone is really not the enemy. People have made it the enemy. I think it's just such a sad day because you know your girl loves hydroquinone i promote hydroquinone shamelessly on this channel on my tiktok on everywhere i talk about how much i love hydroquinone it's literally changed the game for me so i'm going to tell you guys why this was taking out of the market and what mb has come up with as an alternative to the famous fade cream so this actually started back in 2020 due to the cares act which is basically the coronavirus relief and economic security act so covid19 response efforts modernize the way certain otc drugs are regulated basically most drugs that had been pending review under previous rulemaking framework were finalized and this unfortunately included skin lightening products over the years there have been reports from people saying they noticed their face swelling up, skin rashes, even ochronosis, which I talked about in more detail up here in my video. Ochronosis is caused when people use fake hydroquinone, they go and buy it from Amazon or wherever else. These hydroquinone products contain mercury. That's what causes the ochronosis. Hydroquinone on its own does not cause ochronosis. So of course the FDA took action due to these complaints. The alternatives for MB are pretty interesting. They came out with two alternatives. First one has encapsulated retinol, niacinamide, alaric acid, and ceramides. And you guys know the wonderful benefits of all those ingredients. Encapsulated retinol is great because it goes into your skin and then opens up and starts to take action. So it reduces irritation from retinol. Niacinamide is great because it helps with oil production, hyperpigmentation. Hyaluronic acid obviously is a great humectant. And ceramides help just support a strong skin barrier. Now they also came out with a second one, which is more friendly to all skin types. So if you have really sensitized skin, they came out with another one that has niacinamide and aloe. Niacinamide for dehydrogenation and oil production reduction, aloe for cooling and soothing the skin. So I really wanted to make a really quick video to tell you guys about this. This is unfortunately sad. For people like Phoenix who commented about hydroquinone just being a better option for her because it takes care of her hyperpigmentation, but it also is very gentle on her skin and doesn't trigger her skin. So yeah, the hydroquinone haters finally win. There's no more hydroquinone over the counter. That's it. I wanted to make this really quick video talking to you guys about it. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, and your girl is back. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.